hello everyone good morning and welcome to another video session uh, where i will put you through um, how to create an exercise notebook that is our topic for today and uh, let me briefly show you the test the notebook that i want to create and then we'll go through the process from the scratch and create the notebook so this is the notebook exercise notebook that i want to create and uh, we will create it from the beginning to the end using canva or mobile device all right, so now let's go to Canva application. That is the first step. And after going to Canva application, once it is loaded properly, you click on this plus button that is um, in purple color, and then you search for notebook. Just search for notebook to make things easy for you. Once you search for notebook, you will see notebook and notebook cover. So the first one you see there, notebook, which is 8.5 times 11 inches in size, that is the standard size of notebook so you click on it or if you already know the size of the notebook you can click on the plus button and then click on customize size and just put the size of the notebook that you want to create and then click create notebook so canva will load your uh, your design page and then you start designing properly so now um, the network is kind of slow all right so this is our page now all we need to do is to start designing so after creating your design, Canva will suggest some templates for you that you can just use to edit and uh, uh, make them your own design, customize them to your taste and whatever you want to do. But this time around, we are going to start from the scratch. So I suggest that as beginner, as a beginner, you can use a template and then customize it to your taste. But this time we are going to start from scratch. So you click on this replace icon. Then we want to change the background of the paper, the cover page. Then I can go to gradients. I want to use a gradient as the cover page. That is a color with uh, kind of shading. So let me look for a blue color. I want to use this blue gradient. So I click on it. After clicking on it, then you can reduce the transparency, maybe like 70. Uh, it depends on how you want it. So now the next thing is uh, you should just go to plus button under elements. You search for the picture that you want to use on top of the cover page or you look for the um you look for the upload button and upload the image from your gallery maybe you have a picture already on your gallery that you want to use you can then click on upload and use it and this time around i'm going to use canva elements and this is the picture i want to use if you don't want to use this picture since we want to create a science notebook you just search for science after searching for science you look for any suitable images or image that suits your design you then Pick it up uh, the network is kind of slow it builds me so once you search you see different kinds of science related images and then you can select from the thousands of images that you see uh, as one of the cover pages that you're going to use so in my own case I'm going to use um, this image is still loading Alright, so this is the image that I want to use. I can just click on it. So after clicking on the image, you can put it here. Unfortunately, the image size, the image doesn't stand out properly. I want it to stand out. So I can go to elements again, look for shape. And just look for shape. And I, I want to use the cycle shape. I will increase the size. And then I can change the color. And then I can now go to shape, sorry, position, and make it at the back of the image so that the image will be on top of the shape. I will center the image. So that is the image that I want to use. The next thing now is to create the cycled area where the students will write their names, details, and everything. So I want to use another shape, rectangular shape in this case. I can bring it here. I can change the color as well to white. And then I can I can adjust it to make sure that it is centered. So now the next thing is to add text. So click on this plus button, go to text. Under text, you click on uh, add heading. We have different kinds of uh, text that you can add. We have a heading, subheading, and body text. So in this case, since we want to design a cover page, I suggest using a, a heading. So we click on heading. The first one here that you are seeing is still loading. 
we click on heading after clicking on heading you then type in the name of the exercise notebook maybe a science notebook maybe a different kind of notebook or whatever you want to do so you just click on the heading anyway you can also select from this different kind of um, templates text templates so you just click on add heading you edit click edit then you write the name of the textbook that you want to write exercise notebook and then you just add here you click on color you change it to white you can increase the size maybe to 40 you just click on type 40 that is the size font size and then you can arrange it you can even change the font type maybe i want to use um let me use uh, this leaks pattern no let me use leaks pattern so once you select leaks pattern the note will stand the, the the writing will stand out so the next thing is to write name class subjects and uh, school so you will still go back to add text and click add a subheading then we edit we can start with name then we use this four headed arrow and drag it down to this section we can click duplicate this plus sign and then we can edit this as name school this should be our school and then we can duplicate this and edit as our maybe class and then we duplicate and edit this maybe as our subjects and then likely we can duplicate and it did this as the date so once you write this make sure that you align the names and everything they are they are on the same line make sure that they are aligned properly so now the next thing you need to do is to add a line a ruled line you go back to elements and search for line after searching for line you will see different kinds of lines so let me just select this one and uh, you can drag it down using the four headed arrow you then you can then elongate it and you can do it to your test you can drag it this way after that you can change the color of the line by clicking on line color you can change the style the thickness is too high you can do it to two or maybe three and then you can also change the style of the line to make sure that it has a rounded end point so after that you can duplicate the lines and bring them where necessary um, you can still duplicate so now oh sorry so now you have created your lines uh, properly you can then you can then move ahead uh, to creating your all right so this is our cover page well designed to some extent you can customize it to different kinds of formats and it doesn't have to be this way so the next thing now is to add an empty page where we can create our um our exercise notebook so you just click on this plus button then you click the cancel arrow you change the color to white background and then you just go straight and add a line after adding a line you can reduce the thickness of the line to maybe 
uh, let's say two then you can have it to have a rounded end then you can take it up and then increase it to reach the end here you can then so if it is properly aligned because you can leave it from here then you can just click and then you keep on duplicating So once you duplicate the lines, you can now add another vertical line. You can search for vertical line. If you want it to have a vertical line that is uh, ruled out as a margin, so you search for a vertical line and add it by your left hand side of the pages. Um, it's still searching. The network is kind of um, slow. Bear with me. So, you look for a line. You can use this. can bring it here as our margin you can drag it to reach down so this is our margin you can use different kinds of lines not necessarily this one you can just use a plain line let me delete this and add um, No, this is not the one I want. You can even use one of these lines and just rotate it to this uh, to ninety degree, and then use it. And then you can change it its color. Maybe you want it to be red. You can then change it its thickness. Maybe back to five. Or five is high. Maybe four. And then you can just. So now that you have created your first page, so now that you have created your first page, all you need to do is to just you can adjust the line wherever you want it to be, but all you need to do now is to duplicate the pages. You just click on this icon and click on duplicate. If you want to create um. 60 leaps you need to duplicate the pages up to 120 pages that will give you a 60 leaps exercise notebook if you want to create a 40 leaps exercise notebook you need to duplicate the pages to 80 pages once you are done that is all you have just created your exercise notebook you can then download it and take it to printing where they will print it in box depending on how many copies you want so to do that you just click on this headed arrow down here you click on download and after clicking on download you select the appropriate download option which is normally pdf print that is the pdf for printing so you just click on pdf print after selecting pdf print you click on download after downloading you have just created your exercise notebook which can be printed anywhere and if you want to use it digitally online you can as well uh, upload it to wherever you want to use it so that is how to create an exercise notebook using Canva application or software on a mobile device. You can also upload this kind of um, notebooks on Amazon and sell them and be making some dollars. So if you have enjoyed this video, it is downloaded already. If you have enjoyed this video, um, don't forget to share with your friends, like, comment and also subscribe to this channel for more educative videos. Thank you and um, do have a wonderful day.